This guide shows you what to do if uh, you've just updated to Windows 10 or upgraded to Windows 10 and for whatever reason you want to go back to the previous operating system. It might be that something's not working properly or you've decided to go back for because you don't like Windows 10. Now this is how you do it. Um, it could be also because uh, perhaps you've up upgraded and Windows hasn't activated. So you've got to do this within the first 10 days of installing Windows 10. After 10 days, the option goes and there's no way back apart from to wipe your whole system and reinstall Windows from scratch. Okay, so to get to that option, what we do is we move our mouse over the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, left click once, move your mouse up to the cog just here, the settings cog and left click once. Scroll down to update and security, again left click once. Move your mouse over recovery just here and left click once. And there's an option here that says go back to Windows 7. This might say Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 for you if you've upgraded from Windows 8 or 8.1. And it reaffirms there this option is only available for 10 days after you upgrade to Windows 10. So move your mouse over get started and left click once. I must stress it is a good idea to make sure you've got a backup copy of anything important before you do this. But really you should have done this already when you upgraded to Windows 10 just in case anything goes wrong um, and uh, you want to make sure you don't lose your stuff so make sure you've got a backup of any important data make sure you've got uh, disks for any software or hardware that you've got installed or at least make sure you can access the download locations to re-download that software again if the worst should happen so here it asks you why are you going back so you can select a reason here or you can just select for another reason and then move your mouse over next and left click once okay it says here check for updates before you go back try installing the latest updates this might fix the problems you're having with Windows 10 so you can either say yet yeah, check for updates and try again try Windows 10 again or you can move your mouse over no thanks to go back to Windows 7 Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 which I'm going to do now so move your mouse over no thanks left click once and it says here what you need to know this might take a while and you won't be able to use your PC until it's done leave your PC plugged in and turned on after going back you'll have to reinstall some programs you'll lose any changes made to settings after the upgrade to Windows 10 all your files backed up this shouldn't affect them but it's best to be prepared so move your mouse over next and left click once and it says don't get locked out if you used a password to sign into Windows 7 make sure you know it you won't be able to sign in without it so if you did use a password of Windows 7 make sure you know what that password was so uh, if we're happy with that, move your mouse over next and left click once. And it says, thanks for trying Windows 10. If you ended up missing improved search security and start up, come back to Windows 10 at any time. So no, okay, I'm gonna still go back to Windows 7. So move your mouse over, go back to Windows 7. This might say Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 if you've upgraded from uh, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. So move your mouse over that and left click once, okay. The system will start restarting now. This might take a while. Don't try and abort it now. It might look as though it's got stuck from time to time. Just leave it. The best thing you can do is walk away from your computer now for you know a, a couple of hours um, and, and just leave it. Let it do what it needs to do. Okay, so uh, it's going through the next part of, uh, of the, the reinstallation and uh, we should see in a moment it should start saying that it's uh, reverting back to uh, Windows 7. There we go, it says restoring your previous version of Windows. So like I say, now's the time to leave your PC, walk away, go and do something else for a couple of hours. It might not take that long, it might take a bit longer. I mean, normally on these, I generally tend to find that it will probably take no more than about half an hour. But if it takes longer, it takes longer, just leave it. Don't try and turn your computer off or you know uh, because otherwise you could end up totally trashing windows so that's it that's how to revert back from windows 10 to a previous version of windows just as long as you've upgraded in the last 10 days like i say if it's been over 10 days unfortunately the only way back is to wipe the system clean again and reinstall windows afresh from your reinstallation media okay hope this helps thanks for watching